Hi, in this video we are going to discuss how to prepare for NEET exam for complete denture prosthodontics. Now as we know complete denture prosthodontics is something that we clinically do all our bachelors and then even in internship we have enough exposure to the subject. But theoretically there are a lot of aspects, a lot of things that we need to remember. Complete denture being such a volatile subject you have to really prepare it from the beginning. And complete denture comes as an important question, like an important, it covers the important part of your exam. And that's why we need to see, we have to plan it out tactfully, how to approach the subject in the best possible way. Let me take you through as to how you should approach the subject. To understand this better, we have divided this video in the following parts. First, starting with the weightage of the subject, then the books that you need to refer for this particular subject and the time you should allocate for preparation of this subject. How many times should complete denture prosthodontics be revised? What is the ideal time to start? And what are the most important topics and the questions that you can expect from this topic? In the past few years, like you can see from 2016 to 20, roughly 7 to 16 questions have been asked from the total of 240 questions, comprising of around 4% questions from this topic. You can expect image-based questions, case-related questions and indirect questions from the topic. Coming to the books that you need to refer for complete denture preparation, we have Sheldon Winkler, second edition is currently available in the market. Then you have Prosthodontic Treatment for Edentulous Patients by Zab and Bolander. Of course, Rangarajan and Allah Swami are Indian authors and also very standard for preparation. So, Winkler is the one that will give you all the information about the anatomical landmarks, posterior palatal seal area, articulators, and the miscellaneous topics like relining, rebasing, imaged dentures, single complete dentures, combination syndrome. These topics are well given in Winkler. Zab and Bolander is very good for impressions and jaw relations. These are standard books. And you can expect a lot of image based questions also from Zab and Bolander. And next coming to Rangarajan and uh, Nalla Swami, both the authors have really emphasized all the topics in detail from all the other authors. So if you want a conceptual understanding of any topic, it is best to come back to these books first. And then for image based questions, you can come to the other two. How much time should you give to this subject? So on an average, theory reading will require around 6 to 7 days and MCQ practice will require around 3 to 4 days. But if you feel confident with your theory in the first few days itself, you can allocate more times for your MCQ practice and vice versa. And this being a volatile subject, it's better that you keep revising the theory so that if your theory is strong, your MCQ practice will go faster. How much time should you allocate for this subject? Theory reading, usually 6 to 7 days are enough and then MCQ practice of 3 to 4 days. Now this is a very subjective thing. If you feel confident with your theory in the, in the first few days, then MCQs you can spend more days. It needs at least 4 to 5 times revision according to my experience because that is the time that you are going to come back to the subject and apply it clinically again and again. When you read the other subjects, you will feel a few patches here and there and you will want to read it again because there is a lot of interdisciplinary based questions which are expected from this topic. What is the ideal time to start the subject? So like I told you, there is a lot of overlap with other subjects and prosto, especially dental materials. So prepare dental materials first. Then come to complete denture prosthodontics. So you have a few materials in your head already before you start solving questions for complete dentures. The more important way, the best way to approach any exam is to understand the type of questions and the topics that are going to be asked in your exam. In complete dentures, impression procedures is a very important topic because it has a lot of weightage. The past few years questions have been repeatedly asked from impression procedures, around one to two questions in each exam especially. Classification of impression materials and techniques and all the primary impressions, wash impressions, theories of impressions, they are very important. You can find all these topics beautifully described in Boucher. Ninth edition is the best edition to read complete denture impressions. The current edition of Zab and Bolander is also a very good book. So you can read it from there. And this requires very little practice because once conceptually it is clear in your head, then you can solve all the questions very easily. Likewise, border molding and posterior palatal seal area. For that matter, even all the other landmarks, maxillary and mandibular landmarks, given well in Winkler. Winkler second edition is very good to read. And you can read posterior palatal seal area also from Winkler. Make sure that the definition of posterior palatal seal area is updated because the current glossary of prosthodontic terms has changed a few definitions in terms of centric relation, articulators, PPS. So you have to be updated with the current version of GPT. And border molding technique and impression impressions for border molding and the materials for border molding are not as important but you must definitely read them because they are also 
there in the syllabus and can be asked in the exam. Then coming to jaw relations, all three jaw relations, vertical, horizontal and orientation are equally important. But you can put a little more emphasis on the phase bow part of orientation jaw relation. To understand this topic, you can read Nallaswamy and Rangrajan. Both of them have explained both the topics, all the topics very clearly. And you can also uh, refer voucher for image based questions where kinematic phase bow and arbitrary phase bow is concerned. So image based questions, you should refer standard textbooks and conceptual, you can use Indian author textbooks. Then teeth setting and articulators. Not a lot of questions have been asked from this topic, but teeth setting in terms of teeth selection is important and articulators is important in terms of the classification. So you can read Winkler for both these topics. Next we have special techniques in complete dentures where you have occlusion and the concepts of occlusion. You should focus mainly on balanced occlusion and all the five factors of Hanau and compensating curves as well. So if you know this topic clearly then you can tackle a lot of other questions coming from this topic. This is given well in Boucher and Nallaswamy even Winkler has described balanced occlusion very well. So you should read this topic from standard textbooks. And lastly, the miscellaneous topics from complete dentures like post delivery problems, tissue conditioners and reliners, immediate dentures, over dentures and processing. Of lately, in the last two years, you, we have seen a lot of questions from immediate dentures and over dentures. So these are very important topics because they are currently clinically also a lot in use and theoretically also very important. Very, very well given in Winkler. The last few chapters of Winkler are very important and if you want to prepare these topics, then Winkler is the best book to read. Then what type of questions should you expect from complete denser prosthodontics? You can have single best answer questions and image based questions. Single best answer questions meaning you can have case based questions where you are given a situation, clinical scenario and a complication to it, an indication to it, an advantage to it. So those questions are very frequently asked. Fact based questions or very theoretical questions. Who gave so and so theory? Who gave so and so articulator? So these kind of questions are fact based in which year was this kind of a technique proposed. So all these are theoretical questions. Concept based where you have to apply your logic, apply your analysis, especially in Facebook kind of questions, you will have concept based and numerical value based questions. What should be the angulation for this? Say for example, what is the average condylar guidance value or incisal guidance value? What should be the angulation in non anatomic teeth, semi anatomic teeth? So all these numerical value based questions are also frequently asked. And definitely image based questions directly from the textbook, from a standard textbook images can be uh, taken and they can be asked as questions as to what is the following image depicting or what is seen in the following image. So you should have more approach on image based and case based questions because they are currently more in trend and that is going to help you score very well. To summarize this video, I would like to tell you that complete denture prosthodontics is a little critical and complicated subject to remember because it is very volatile. So make sure you have enough revisions theoretically and with MCQs. Read Bouchers and Nallaswamy, one of the two best textbooks that you can read for complete denture prosthodontics. I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you for watching and all the best.